Mouthwashing follows the story of a space crew struggling to survive a tragic incident that leaves them stranded in deep space with no hope of rescue and rapidly depleting resources. The narrative is non-linear, jumping between events to reveal a complicated plot twist that often leaves players confused. So let's unravel it. The game centers around the Tool Par, a space cargo ship owned by a company named Polar Express, which, like any greedy corporate entity, only cares about profits. The Tulpar is on a year-long journey transporting cargo manned by a small crew, Captain Curly, his co-pilot Jimmy, Nurse Anya, Engineer Swansea, and the intern Daisuke. The crew's dynamic is fragile as most are struggling to make ends meet, except for Curly, who has become a renowned captain over the years and is ready to move on to bigger things. Since the ship is isolated in deep space, the company mandates regular psychological evaluations for the crew, conducting under the supervision of Nurse Anya, who is inexperienced and naive. The evaluations go smoothly for most, except for Jimmy, whom Anya struggles to assess. She eventually asks Curly to handle it for her. Curly agrees and speaks to Jimmy, revealing a heartfelt backstory. It was Curly who took Jimmy under his wing when he couldn't find work. He also confesses his own desire to move on from being a captain and try something new. The evaluation seems to go well and for a moment everything feels normal. But a few days later, Curly receives a message from the company. The crew is being relieved of duty after this job, being replaced by automated systems. Heartbroken, Curly knows this is devastating news for the crew as they all depend on this job. Just as he is about to break it to them, he walks into a surprise. The crew has thrown him a birthday party. Reluctantly, he reveals the company's decision. Jimmy immediately lashes out, accusing Curly of abandoning them in favor of his own ambitions. Tensions simmer until one day Curly finds Anya curled up in the cockpit, sobbing, revealing that she's pregnant and Jimmy is the father. This was the reason she struggled with Jimmy's evaluation. She had told him, but he left her without a word, refusing responsibility. Curly, trying to keep the crew together, confronts, confronts Jimmy, only to discover that in a fit of madness, Jimmy has turned off the autopilot, setting the ship on a collision course with an asteroid. Curly enters the cockpit, trying to prevent the crash, but is severely injured in the process. Jimmy then twists the narrative, blaming Curly for the crash and declares himself the acting captain, exposing his deep-seated envy of Curly and his desire for command. Weeks turn into months and the crew, now stranded and out for food, faces a grim reality. They have no choice but to search the cargo hold for anything edible. What they find is shocking, an endless supply of mouthwash full of sugar and 14% ethanol which is consumable. Desperate, they consume the mouthwash to survive, slowly losing their sanity in the process. Four months later, all hope is gone, Anya is the first to break. She locks herself in the medical bay and overdoses on paracetamol, causing massive internal bleeding. Daisuke, ordered by Jimmy to help, tries to en enter through the vents but is severely injured and with no other options, Jimmy ends Daisuke's suffering by bashing his head in with an axe. The descent into madness continues and it appears as if it was Swansea who killed Daisuke but later we see that it was actually Jimmy who had tied Swansea up and manipulated the scene inside his own head. Jimmy then shoots Swansea, erasing any sense of order. With all semblance of humanity lost, he arranges the bodies of his crewmates at the table where they used to sit, even forcing Curly, who is barely alive, to partake in cannibalistic acts by eating parts of his own leg. As Jimmy's sanity fractures, he holds inner dialogues with the injured Curly, finally accepting the horrific truth of what he's done. 
In the end, he drags the gravely injured captain to a cryostasis pod, gently telling him how proud he was to serve under a captain like him, and then shoots himself off screen. The final haunting scene shows Curly put into stasis, drifting in space, his body preserved, but with no hope of ever being found.